What's going on guys? TGS 2023 has came and gone for Xbox in terms of their live stream. Now obviously the event's still going on. And we got a little bit of stuff to talk about. We got some stuff to talk about. First off, I want to apologize if I like I don't sound very loud today. Because for some reason I'm having a little bit of issues audio wise. I don't got time to fix the stuff. I'm tired. I just want to give my opinions on stuff and then head back to bed. All right, so Xbox Tokyo Game Show came and gone. Uh, there's a lot of things to take it into account here. Now, obviously, we all wanted Final Fantasy VII Remake in here. Uh, Newsflasher wasn't, you know. But I think there was a lot of hope in here, you know. They had someone came from Square Enix, and they just said, look, we're working on porting, you know, more Dragon Quest games. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how deep this relationship is with microsoft xbox and square enix first off let's get right out of there you know uh octopath travel 2 it's coming to xbox you know they didn't really go into details it kind of really felt like it was one of those announcements that was just given at the last minute so i think that's probably why you saw it at this time because they're not really done with anything at the moment they are clearly porting the game over now so you know, the game clearly could have been on Xbox from the start, it looks like. Because it doesn't seem like there was any kind of, like, barriers or anything. But they are making it come over to Xbox. I, it, what's interesting is there was no Game Pass announcement for uh, Octopath Traveler 2. You know, I don't know if that, you know, means anything to some of the people that are watching this video. If, if that's something that you guys desperately need before you are willing to go out and buy something. Like, I'm very excited that it's coming to the platform it would have been better if it was a game pass announcement on top of it getting announced for the platform but i think it's really important that these games coming to xbox is important and i think it's more important than if they get a game pass day and date i don't know if it will there is still quite a bit of time between us and that actual title that we can actually see the game come out and being game pass so there's there's still time for an octopath traveler 2 game pass announcement but right now the fact that it's coming to the xbox i think is is a huge w now sega was here a lot that you know they they had interviews that's going up on persona 3 they had interviews going up on you know the uh persona the persona tactics game they kept reiterating that these games both are going to be Game Pass day and date games. And that's amazing. Now, let's talk about Yakuza. Yakuza was here and the man who forgot his name or I always forget the title of that game. That game's coming into Game Pass day and date. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to that Like a Dragon game. Now, Like a Dragon Wealth was here to a huge degree as well. And it, I felt Atlas and Sega carry the show now we can't go away that sega uh sega and square enix you know they, they're, they're both very prominent studios very prominent developers publishers and i feel like square enix definitely is in this situation now where they're being very clear you know we are working on more games we're going to be porting more games over to xbox they talked about dragon quest uh specifically which is interesting. They didn't really bring up Final Fantasy during that whole, you know, conversation. So I'm kind of curious exactly what type of arrangements that PlayStation has with Square Enix on Final Fantasy. You know, are we going to get Final Fantasy VII Remake or Rebirth Any? Or we're going to have to wait for the entire franchise, all three games, to come out. Then we'll see the games come out for Xbox. It's going to be interesting. You know, I think we're at a point right now where xbox is in a good spot when it comes to japan now they got they got to improve they got to improve on those square enix deals they got to improve on just getting making sure games come to game pass well not game pass but xbox in general now game pass is definitely a huge plus and i hope they get a couple of these games in a game pass because here's my thing if xbox isn't able to make sure some of these games come into xbox day and date with the playstation uh audience then they need to make sure, I don't care how much money they got to drop, they need to make sure that if it is late and it doesn't come out day and day, it, it's going to be a Game Pass game. And I think that's really important to 
make up to the people that wanted to play this and couldn't play it day and day. That's why I feel like Game Pass is essential in terms of these games that are missing out on the platform. All since, I think the Tokyo Game Show Xbox live showcase, well, it's not a live showcase, but, you know, I think the, the broadcast was good. I really do. You know, they had a lot of prominent indie developers. They ended with a really unique game. It was like a hotel something based off of, uh, I think it was The Shining. I don't know. I was kind of talking to my chat during that time. I wish they would have ended with Octopath Traveler 2 on that because I do feel like ending on a really high note captivates people in a lot more. But that, that game looked very solid. You know, I think Microsoft is on to something. I think they are really going out there and they're showing these other regions that they are serious about their their ecosystem. They're serious about their society. And I think we're going to see more and more come out with this in the ongoing future. Clearly, we still need some more Square Enix games. You know, I would say that this is a good starting ground to what we're going to see. We need to see Final Fantasy VII on the platform. We need Rebirth eventually on the platform. You know, there, there's a variety of games like Triangle Strategy, you know, uh, or Trials of the Mana or whatever that game's called. There's a lot of games that people want to see on Xbox. But I want to voice the fact that we got Octopath Traveler 2, I think it's really good. <laughs> the fact that they didn't even have a release date shows me that this game's being ported as we speak. And we'll probably see a release date by the end of the year, probably the beginning of next year is when you actually see this game. But put in the comment section below what you guys think, you know, was it like an amazing event? No, but I would say it was a solid experience and a solid event in general. But put in the comment section below what you guys think. I'm very curious to hear your guys' opinion. And until next time, this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace. I really enjoyed that Tokyo game show. <laughs>